Hey guys, so today what I'm doing is I'm recording the first login on the Pinadio gateway. And what we're looking at on the screen right now is the Pinadio gateway. What you can see inside here is the A64 LTS long-term support. And then we have a hat here which has a concentrator and GPS as well, where you see the antennas running outside here on the SMA ports here. And one will take a GPS antenna, the other a LoRa or long range low power radio. So it's gonna have exceptional range. You'll be able to send short text messages. You could use this for sensors as it's typically used for, or you can even use this for short text message communication. And that's the great thing. This is the type of technology that doesn't rely on an internet service provider, no cellular provider needed, completely independent, considered off-grid type of communication if you set it up. And the image I created has everything pre-enabled. The chirp stack is default, which can allow you to create your own LoRaWAN networks. And at that point, it's up to you what you want to do with it. So you could also connect to the actual things network. If you want to work in that area, you can do that as well. It's a great guide that has been set up. We're about to log in for the first time, so I'm going to show you that. But I do want to say after you watch this video and flash it, take a look at Lup's guide. He's got a great guide out that shows you from start to finish how to get on the things network with this gateway. So he's got a lot of great information on his page. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's open up a terminal. Let's SSH over to the gateway for the very first time. So this is exactly what you'd experience if you flash the image. This is exactly what you'll see. And I already know the IP address, but for you, for example, you may want to do a ping sweep of your network where you would do such a command as this. And then, you know, something like that. And that would then return all the different devices online. But I already know mine. So default login, Pinadio. And I have everything listed, the credentials, the checksums, all that is going to be listed on the blog, which has two different addresses. It's either buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash posts or politictech.wordpress.com. So I'm going to list it on both. So I do Pinadio and then I do the IP address for the actual gateway. And at that point, I enter the default password. And it's going to uh, generate new SSH keys on the first boot. And it also does some other things on this first login. So you see a nice little welcome screen here. And then it's getting ready to set the time zone. Shows you a little bit of the system specs. First, you got to enter the password, of course, for some of this stuff. Because these initial settings, including forcing you to change the password. And at that point, it's going to resize the disk. You check your time zone. It's automated. You just set where you want it to be, like Los Angeles. So then it sets that for you. And you're ready to go. At this point, you have a working gateway. To check the status, you'll want to, you know, get a root shell there. And there's a lot more information if you do system control. You can take a look at the gateway itself by doing status TTN gateway. And it'll show you right there. Of course, I haven't put on the right GPS antenna because I didn't want to give away GPS information in the video. But with the working GPS antenna, and in fact, I've even used a simple LoRa antenna, I've been able to pull GPS no problem, even indoors. So make sure your antenna is sitting by the window, preferably if it's an indoor uh, gateway. And otherwise, if it's outside, you, as long as you have a clear range of sight, you should be okay. So that is how you can check it out. You can then restart it, restart with system control, restart TTN gateway, and that'll restart everything. 
And then you can do system control stop TTN gateway if you want to stop everything. But for the sake of shortness of this video, at this point you can head over to the chirp stack since it's already started up. All you have to do is enter your IP address and 8080 is the port. So then you do colon 8080 and press enter. It'll bring you right into the pre-started, pre-installed, and ready-to-go chirp stack. Then you will add admin, and admin is the password. For the default, of course, you're going to want to change that once you get a chance. But of course, you're going to need to set up your gateway, applications, devices, API keys, and everything inside the chirp stack interface. But there's some great documentation on the chirp stack website for this and you may find some other stuff uh, in the related wiki as well. So this is basically what we have to go with, and if you want to join the Things Network, be sure to check out Lup Yuan Lee's great guide to getting on the Things Network using this very Armbian-based Debian image. You can check more in the journal control command, but I want to suggest next you go over and take a look at Lup Yuan Lee's guide. I have a link to it right on my blog post that has the download for this. And that guide will really walk you through the entire process. I do want to point you over to this great guide. He used the same image that I'm showing you guys. And, you know, everything is just very clear pictures really great work so I want to give a shout out to uh, of course Pine64, Yup, Lee Yuen and JF uh, if you're interested in the Pine64 uh, Laura Pineadio project you're gonna find a lot of great information over there and of course at wiki.pine64.org slash wiki slash Pineadio and of course can't forget my blog over at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech and at that point, you can then just click posts. Everything's organized by category. You can see Linux phone, you know, privacy, security, radio, and everything is nice and organized for you there. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more videos on the Pineadio and Linux 